Hey, this is Jim, your product expert with Sump Pumps Direct, coming to you with another Q&A video. Today we're going to talk about check valves and get into the uh, skinny on how those things work and what they're used for. Um, what kind is best to use? It really depends on your application, you know, how high, how far you're, you're pumping that water, where that check valve is going, what the diameter of the discharge pipe is, is it sump or sewage? Um, just an FYI, there's no real quote-unquote sewage check valve out there. It's going to be all based on the diameter of the dis discharge pipe you're running on this. Um, where is it going to be installed? Is it going to be installed at the pump or is it going to be installed a little about halfway up or a third of the way up uh, on your discharge pipe? And is it going to be a vertical or horizontal position on that check valve? So let's start off with the uh, the one on the middle top up here. That's going to be what they call an inline check valve. That's going to be installed, screwed right into the base or the um, discharge port or outlet of the pump. Uh, you've got a threaded fitting over there. I've got it over here. It's got a one-way valve on here, so this part gets screwed into the base of the pump. Um, you've got that one-way valve in there. If you look through here, there's a little little flapper in there. Uh, you might be able to see that going up open and closed. As the water is shooting through there, that valve opens, allowing the water to push through the, the uh, discharge pipe. When the pump shuts off, you don't want all that water in that pipe coming back down into the pit and possibly causing that pump to recycle all over again just because of the amount of water in that pipe. So that valve closes, shuts everything down, keeps all the water from coming back into the pit. That's basically what it does. It just keeps all that water from flowing back down. Um, if you don't have a real high lift on your discharge, you're only going up a few feet or something like that, something like this is not a bad option to go with. But if you're going up, 8, 10, 12, 15 feet or something like that. You've got a lot of water pressing down on that valve when it's closed, so you need a little bit more pressure to open that up. In those cases, you probably want to install that check valve a little higher up in your discharge, typically above the uh, top of the basin cover. Uh, in those cases, any one of these other valves will work. Uh, the one in the upper right-hand corner here is a standard Zoller slip-on check valve. This got rubber boots on here, so this will slip right over the PVC uh, above and below the check valve. You've got your hose clamps to clamp it down and seal everything up nice and tight. This particular uh, check valve can be used in one and a quarter or one and a half inch uh, pipe. So you can see how that boot works on there. If you're doing one and a half, it's just the way it is. If it's going over one and a quarter, you take those boots off, flip them around. They slide over the, uh, there's a, another rim over here that they slide over, clamp down on that. And then the other side of this rubber boot will fit on one and a quarter inch pipe. Um, the one down below that is a compression type check valve. So that's got a compression, like a rubber compression ring on the inside of these fittings on top and bottom. Um, this valve again will fit one and a quarter or one and a half inch piping. So there's two different compression rings that you'd slide in there depending on what size pipe you're running. Um, and again, you're, you're, you just slide that over your, your, uh, PVC pipe, twist down on those uh, threaded fittings as you tighten it down. It can, presses the, the, the rubber piece inside, and that seals the pipe so there's no leakage on there. Um, I'm going to jump over to the one on the bottom left over here. This is a clear quiet check valve. Um, most of these other valves just have a rubber flapper that move up and down on a pivot. Basically, they're kind of glued in place. This valve over here has a spring-loaded uh, flapper, a little bit uh, reinforced with some plastic, and it's Got that little chamber coming off the side so as that flow on that water reverses down it gives that a little place to kind of absorb that shock of that water and that kind of slows down the motion of the water and slows down that closing of that flapper sometimes you hear that clunking sound when that check valve closes um, that's usually from a worn valve uh, worn check valve they wear out just like a pair of shoes so those need, need to be replaced um, periodically usually if you replace the pump replace the check valve but the standard valves are going to wear out and they make noise. Something like this will deaden the sound. If it doesn't deaden it completely, it'll definitely uh, reduce it quite a bit and reduce that sound. This valve does require to be glued in, so it's like kind of a uh, slip fitting on the top and bottom over here. So you use PVC primer and cement to glue your TV, uh, PVC discharge pipe into that. And then you also have the threaded fittings below and above, so you can still remove the check valve undo that to service the pump and things like that. Jumping down to the bottom right, this is the same type of check valve. It's not a clear check valve, but it's got a ball valve installed on top of that. That comes in handy a lot too if you're going to pull out your, your pump or something like that. You can close off that, um, that ball valve, 
So when you remove the check valve or anything like that from the top portion or anything like that, you have to replace that whole check valve or move it out. You don't have all that water in that pipe coming down and giving you a shower. So um, that's pretty much it on these check valves. Some of these will be noted for um, vertical or horizontal installations. If you're going to do a horizontal on these check valves, make sure that check valve is rated for horizontal application. Um, some of them are and some of them are not. The ones that are that are rated for that, what you want to do is re replace that, um, that check valve. So the pivot point for that flapper is in the top position. So that's on top and the flapper that swings on the bottom of the check valve. That'll give you the best performance on that. Um, hopefully that touches all the bases on check valves and answers some questions for you. If you have any other questions or any other ideas for Q&A videos, uh, give me a call, shoot me an email. Check out our website, sumppumpsdirect.com, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, you all have a great day. Take care. Bye.